Um, welcome to part two of Mafia One Definitive Edition, where I hope to finish the main game. Uh, yes. Is it gonna really make me read all of this? I agree to all. Okay. Cool. Did I save before? I did. Okay. We're gonna just hop right in. All right. Come on, load, please. Thank you. Uh, it's not loading. There we go. 1932. Yeah, that's the cold thumb. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go. I ask maybe a small favor, huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk my daughter home. Sarah. <laughs> here and she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a tough. Huh? This is a pack of boys who need her place. Uh, the punks, you know, cattivi ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah. She's gonna speak at the mind. Or maybe she says a somber thing they don't like. Things get ugly. But if you're working at home, this is a reminder of this punk. She's the dawn's of goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honored. <laughs> Benny. Sarah, the time is to close. Ah, hi. Well, again. <laughs> What's this then? Uh, Tom is. Uh, Tom's gonna take you. That right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Hi. <laughs> Hi. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. Damn, she ugly. <laughs> you okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Tommy, quit goofing off. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. Hello, and you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. <laughs> you know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Ollie won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. All right, knock. Here we go. as much as last time it's enough nona thinks you're an angel the dawn hates seeing food go to waste and this this has got to be tammy sarah told us all about ya. cool your, your famous voice character. sounds Everyone. horrible yeah she's right they do can i go now well anyways don't let the cold in juliet 
I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, family. It's nice you do that. That? Well, about a hundred people on this block. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, um, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you've got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Nothing. or Connie, and the best line you've got is good night for a walk anyways <laughs> well it is ain't it yeah I guess so flowers for the lady signore nah we're good now I don't get flowers when you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi then you get the flowers yeah that could happen if pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If he did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Oh my! So now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Then let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off! <laughs> Don't cast the kitten doll face! We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well, this <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. I'll pull out my gun and shoot you. How about that? I don't know how to fight in this game. I haven't been taught. <laughs> well, he's dead. Oh, it's this guy. The big one. My turn now. Hope you're better than your friends. That's what I got, you son of a bitch. I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place. I'll take a look. Well then.
Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, Slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up, is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? I know, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Don. Take another. All right. You gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Cause I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. Oh, God Four. damn. I just yes. imagined that. She was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. There we go. Chapter complete. And another trophy. Yay. More achievements. <laughs> Better get used to it. All right. I can't stand. But Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. It would so look would bad. <laughs> we all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're hold up. Yeah, thank you. I got it. It just looks really bad, and yeah, nah, I'm good. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good, hun. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. Where's Vincenzo? Oh, over here. How do I run? 
Okay, got it. Oh, right. Sorry. Uh... Hey, hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't wanna pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust sets. That's all we need. Shotgun, Tommy gun, something. Turned over some guy's Baseball bats, okay. Uh, Autograph by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horse shit, but... They bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. Not at all. Thanks, Vinny. Sure. Let's, uh, pick a car. There's different variants that you can pick? What the hell? Yeah, no. I will... I'll go with this car. No. Let's skip the drive, because that'll be better. Oh no, someone else joined again. And they're not talking. About time. Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, he got yellow fever that time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom. You're <laughs> yep. Fifth, <laughs> you fat bastard. What are you doing? Put them out, Lord. Tim, they tell all they see. Don't they send some soil? Get him by the toilet. Great to see you. Ah, okay. Upstairs, please. So, what's the beef? Need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right. I know him. There's uh, three people here. All right. In a block over. They hock some gear every now and then. In small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. Can I skip this? Nope. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find him there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Paulie. Uh, about that dough? Relax. Just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. Ah! What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classy ones, Mexican. We getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup. Two admirers. No. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. They don't know about this. Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. Though, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. What, is there gonna be a car in here or something? Why are we going here? Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating. We'll do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. 
I hate this guy's voice. Tell me a nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. <laughs> Okay. Didn't even say anything. Help me over here. Guys, get out here. Oh. I forgot how to fight. There we go. Yeah, hold on, I'm beating this guy up. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Over the fence, Tom, before they get away. Don't let him get Billy. Get your ass behind the doctor. How? Okay. You gotta die here, you know that? Get your gun, Tom. He made it serious. You think I need telling? I go north, you go south. All right, thanks. You go through there. How do you run? No. I should probably heal somehow. Oh shit. How do I uncrouch? There you go. Oh, another trophy. Yay. I need a way to heal. I don't know how. I don't know how to heal. That's that's my problem. There's no oh my. There's no heals just laying around like in the um like in Mafia 2. Well, oh, continue. There we go. Right, this guy's a shotgun, I think. No, he has—he has a piss. No, crouch.
Oh, that's my friend. Are they dead? That's my friend. I'm gonna grab ammo. Oh wait. There you go. Clear a path to Billy Tom. We get to that pump for all the other pumps. Take them down. I don't think I can exactly go through there yet. I don't know how to take cover. I hope you understand that. Oh, this healing's right there. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna heal. Should I take this or the... Hold on. Alright, rifle it is... Wait, how much ammo does this have? We got five. I'll take the rifle. That would have been a good headshot. Oh, okay. I'm going back for that shotgun. Nothing. Tommy, look out. Where? They're stealing my car. Shit, we gotta get to a car, Tom. Oh no, I had a different one. Ram. This is a nice car. Come on, we can't lose them. I'm reloading. Tom, the road's a river. Don't worry, I got this. They got back up! <laughs> Gotta reload! We cleaned them out!
Where are you going? Left. Alright, come on, come on. You ever see guys piss their pants this quick? If you look through the rain, you can see it dripping out the back of their car. Son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. Oh, damn. Go on a pop and top. No. No, no, wait. Wait. Please, I don't want to. Fucking die, man. <laughs> Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. This I'm out. This one's finished too. He looks like Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> <sighs> mm. Oh Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. Wait, what was random? Remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just uh Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Like, he did look like Jimmy Fallon? Never thought I'd hear that. <laughs> well, you did. Simple straight. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We cop. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician in Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Christ. It gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look. We're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. He's sending Tommy to dip his wick? Is it brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. Madonna's has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, 
the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. Oh, God what? damn. Okay. If Morello wants to take businesses away from us, he'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there, and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tom, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah, yeah, sure. <sighs> yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. Okay. Go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. You tired? Nah. Boom. A single bomb. Okay. Ah, uh, wait. There's a collectible over here. Those girls are squeezed from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. You remember when the Corleone Hotel was a classy joint? No, bye. Don't go any place yet. Gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I've been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. I'm gonna skip that drive. Just because it let me. What time is it? Here's your stuff. Oh, goddamn. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. Alright, uh, after this mission I'm gonna have to go. You behave yourself, hey, handsome. Okay? Wait, which one's Michelle? Are you? You here for a girl? Drinks? Or a mix of the two? A girl. 
And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl? I can help you with. Come through. Find a girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush, so get a drink. Come through when you're ready. You looking for a good time? Come this way, Sudi. No. Uh... Looking for... Specific person. You're an enemy. In here, right? I don't know. Was that? Wait, what is this? Room 208. Fuck him up, Charlie. How do we get upstairs? Didn't have to hear that, okay. Out of service. Um. How do I get more upstairs? Oh. What's this? Another note? Fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. Well, the Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him that I will never open my mouth again. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're scared then. Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're gonna find you with two in the head. Do you understand? <laughs> Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. <laughs> Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. <laughs> Spooky, yeah. <laughs> okay. Bro, who's texting me at this time? Ah, oh, just a dumb bot. Never mind. What is this? Don't care. Whatever. Kill the manager in the lounge. Oh, okay. Lounge downstairs. Where? Well done. Did not have to hear that. I want to go deaf. 
Hey, what's up? The friendship between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family is long and fruitful. You must be the manager. Don Salieri sends his regards. How did he kill? I shot him so many times. Let's reload that checkpoint, shall we? Continue, please. Thank you. I don't have anything. No, get down behind the thing, you ass. Oh, I'm over this way. I didn't know there were going to be more enemies over here. Uh. Well, okay, so... I'm going to...